gonna be a huge party. All my friends and relatives are gonna be there. Some are even flying in from Puerto Rico. Wait, so let me get this straight. A uh, quinceanero is not just your 15th birthday. It's more than that? Yeah, it's the day our little Taina becomes a woman. Hey, that sounds like a Puerto Rican bar mitzvah. Right, but with lots of pork. <laughs> and after her quinceanero, Taina will be able to date. Oh, really? You looking for any, uh, handsome bachelor? Yeah. Tell me when you see one. Ouch. My mother is so excited. She says a quinceanero is one of the most important days in a young Latina life. Uh, she's right, because from that day on, you'll be able to wear makeup, pluck your eyebrows, get a tattoo, pierce your nose. Oh, nay! I'm turning 15, girl, not a little Kim. <laughs> Dan. The most important thing is that I will be a woman who can make her own decisions and be my own boss. Hello. Hi, Mommy. I'm on my way home right now. I am. Uh, oh, the train's coming. I gotta go. See you when I get home. <laughs> what? The train is coming somewhere. And by the time it gets to the station... I'll be on it. Bye. <laughs> You're not getting older, you're getting louder. Come oh, on, abuelo, you're so crazy. Oye, nena, you won't think your abuelo is so crazy when you see the cake I ordered for your quinceañero. Really? Chocolate? I went to every baker in the Bronx, from 400 Road to the Grand Concourse, tasting cakes. Seven layers, right? Then I found it. Confection perfection. I told the baker, hey, my granddaughter is going to be a star, so make sure you only use the best pineapples from Hawaii. <laughs> On a chocolate cake? Ah, uh, that would be disgusting. It's just pineapples. But Abuelo, I asked for chocolate. Chocolate gives me gas. <laughs> when I eat chocolate, I get enough gas to fill all the cars in Queens. Ooh, too much information. <laughs> Mommy, Abuelo ordered pineapple cake after I told him I wanted chocolate. Chocolate gives him gas. I told him I wanted to get strawberry cake. But I asked for chocolate. Strawberry cake is pink, like the candy-coated almonds. <sighs> and your dress. Everything has to match. It's tradition in our family. Mommy, I wanted to talk to you about my dress. Titi Rosa finished altering it. She's bringing it over tonight. Hello? Isn't this supposed to be my quinceanero? Just be lucky you're having your own party. I had to share my party with Rosa. And our dress? We had to wear it in shifts. <laughs> 15 minutes for her, 15 minutes for me, 15 minutes for her, 15 minutes for me. So I spent half my quinceanero in the bathroom because... Because your parents couldn't afford to give you a party two, two years in a row. row. We know, Mommy. We know, over and over again. Quack. Santito, put those ducks down. Those are souvenirs for your sister's party. Ducks? I know you wanted the Swan Lake theme, Nana, but the swans could only fit three or four almonds apiece. Everybody would think I'm being cheap. Well, well what? I'm not cheap. I'm thrifty. <laughs> but not for your quinceanero. I could fit ten almonds in each duck. That's good, right? <laughs> no, Mommy, you can't have ducks pretending to be swans. You playing ball, you on the run, you sweater, you stink, you foul, son. You need to get your P.O. in check. I think you better call home plus a flex. Full buster. <laughs> Nena, we have to fill 150 ducks with almonds and make a bowl for each one. Mommy, 
But Renee's coming over to rehearse the scene for class. Good, then she could help. Make sure you get ten almonds in each duck. No one's gonna say I threw my baby a cheeky quinceanero. <laughs> Ow! You're supposed to pull your finger out when I make the knot. Yeah, right. If you break my finger, I won't be able to play my guitar for the quinceanero. What? <laughs> what happened to the DJ I asked for? He wanted too much money. Just to play records? No way. You don't think your uncles and I are good enough? When we had a band... We, we play the quinceaneros all the time. We know, Bobby. We know. But that was like way back in the 80s. <laughs> Things are different now. Music is different now. Yeah, nowadays, kids don't cha-cha-cha when they pack that thing up. You know I love the way you play, but... But what? Don't worry, Taina. Mrs. Rivera says she's gonna try to get her sister's best friend's baby's daddy's cousin to sing for you. I should be able to choose the music from my own quinceanero. I mean, there are lots of DJs and musicians in my school. I'm sure I could get one of them to play. Fine, you know so much. I'll give you the money. You see who you can find, okay? Ta-da! Titi Rosa, is that my dress? This is not a dress. This is a work of art. A masterpiece. Is Taina supposed to wear it or hang it on the wall? Hi, <laughs> Papi, please. Let's go upstairs and try it on. Everybody, hold on to your seat, because when you see this dress, you're going to fall to the floor. <laughs> Taina Morales. Cinderella on steroids. She looks just like you girls on your quinceañero. Uh, that's right. Mama wanted all the girls in the house to wear this dress. It's tradition. Mi niña bonita, you look as sweet as cotton candy. <laughs> and puffy like cotton candy, too. Hey, what am I gonna do? Ooh. <laughs> Wait for the clock to strike 12 and pray you turn into a pumpkin. That's Cinderella. <laughs> I mean, it's my party. I should have it the way I want, right? No, right. So tell your mom you won't wear that puffy party dress. Well, it would break her heart. Uh, that dress could break a lot of things. Who cares what the dress looks like? Yeah, as long as the honey in the dress is fine. And you know you're fine, Ty. Aww. Thanks, Lamar. You're so sweet. Yeah, I get cavities just looking at you. <laughs> Taina! Oh, I'm not feeling her today. Hola, Taina. Lamar. Dan. Renee. <laughs> Hi, Marissa. I want to introduce you to Alex. What's up, y'all? <gasps> Aren't you? Funk Buster! Funk Buster! Funk, funk, funk Buster! Yeah, that's me. <laughs> We're wrapped by the same modeling agency. Uh, hi, I'm Taina. Taina? Like the Taino Indians of Puerto Rico, right? I'm impressed. <laughs> so am I. Well, we'll see you on Saturday at your queasy bolero. <laughs> uh, that's Quinceanero. Or quinceanera. Or fiesta de los quince. Depends on where you come from. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I can't wait to see your dress. I know it's gonna be whack. Oh, I mean, interesting. <laughs> and we can't wait to see your hair. We know it's going to be, uh, rented. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're sweating that pit sniffer. 
Mm-hmm. Frank Bester! Frank Bester! Frank Bester! Come on. Oh, he is fine, though, huh? What, and I'm not? Right! <laughs> <laughs> well, then, if he's all that, then why don't you just tell him? I mean, you walk up to the guy and say, I'm feeling your flow. And I got to let you know how I feel about you. Why don't you say that to a girl you like? Thought I just did. Who invited Maritza to your quinceanero anyway? Guess. Your mother? My mother invited the Bronx. Even the man who pretends to have one arm and begs for money on the travel bridge? <laughs> we'll be there. Well, at least there's one good thing about Maritza coming to your party. There is? Yes! She'll be bringing Funk Buster Flex, and you know he'll be smelling good from his pits to his toes. Oh. <laughs> and I'll be looking like a pink toilet brush with a tarnished crown. <laughs> a royal flush. <laughs> My mother takes this tradition thing so seriously. But I think I should be wearing something like... like that dress we saw in the mall last week. The future one with the spaghetti straps? Nobody will be able to take their eyes off you, especially Funk Bust Flex. <laughs> yep. and that's the way it should be. It's my birthday party and it should be just the way I want. Hey, Mama, Papi, I say it's my party. Hey, Mama, Papi, I say it's my party. Finally, it's here, the point of no return. The women on my way, still so much to learn. Celebration Party's just begun like that. I used the money my mother gave me. The money for entertainment? Yes! What could possibly be more entertaining than me in that dress? <laughs> Come on, man, I'm about to get my shop on! <laughs> Hola, Miss Morales! Hi, Renee! <laughs> Have you see the dress yet? Taina, come! I have something to show you! Tennis, period. <laughs> yeah, but I've always dreamt of playing Serena or Venus Williams in a movie. And now the dream is dead. You killed it. Kaina, what's that? Uh, what's what? Don't play me. What's in the bag? Um, a dead body. Mommy! <laughs> I better go downstairs and see what my mom wants. <laughs> well, while you're at it, you better tell about the dress. Uh-uh. Oh, what are you afraid of? In two days, you're going to be 15. A woman making your own decisions, especially when it comes to what you wear. Yeah. Why don't you come with me? For support? No. Protection. <laughs> I got your back. <laughs> yeah, way back. <laughs> Hola, Taina. You see how I'm making this tiara sparkle with toothpaste? It is going to shine just as bright as the first time your grandmother wore it. That's what I wanted to show you. Look. This is your grandmother at her quinceanero. This is Titi Rosa and me at our quinceanero. And we're all wearing the dress and the tiara you'll be wearing. That's nice, Mommy. <laughs> but, um... There's something I want to say, and, and I, I want you to just, just listen. Well? well? <laughs> I don't 
look so good in pink. All girls look good in pink. Yes, it brings out the color of your cheeks, your lips, and after a party night, your eyes. Hey. <laughs> You're not listening. Well, well? <laughs> the dress is just so... Boofy. Aww, isn't that sweet? She's afraid that she won't fill it out. <laughs> no, not you will fill it out just fine. If not, you could use a little stuffing. <laughs> Me and your grandma both used some tissue to give us a little boost. I did it. <laughs> Diana has a body like I did when I was her age. And look what happened to me. Anyway, the tiara will take the focus off your chest and onto your face. Girl, when you wear that tiara, you have to hold your head up high and strut like this. Look. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, baby. I've been dreaming about this day since I was 15. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A whole lot of history will be resting on your head, Taina. <laughs> what are you doing? It's a little tight, but I couldn't resist. You should let me wear this to the comedy club. I get big laughs without saying a word. So, how they take it? I couldn't tell them. Oh, oh. Hey, you should have seen them. And they were both so cute and excited. My mother dreaming about my big day. My Titi Rosa making sure my crown was approved by the American Dental Association. It means so much to them. It means so much to you, too. Ty, it's your day. You are great if you don't do it your way. You need to take a stand. Be all the woman you can be! What was that? No, don't tell me! Aw, Nay! What is, what did Guess I'm a little more woman than I thought. I've made up my mind, I'm taking the dress back. Oh, what about the rip and the pink horror dress? I'll just sew it, they'll never know the difference. <laughs> Marissa, where's the fire? At Papito's. What? Girl, I heard Lamar and Alex are going at it. And if you ask me, Lamar's about to get his butt whooped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make way. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Don't expect me to be polite much longer. <laughs> Lamar, Alex, stop. Yes, Alex scores. Point game. Next point decides... Who's the king of booze? Ready, set, booze. <laughs> it went in. I got it. Go. I win. <laughs> Real fuck buster now, yo. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> hey, Taina. Hi. Hey, you know, I'm really looking forward to Saturday. You gonna save me a dance? How about the first day? Yeah, that'll be tight. You are supposed to be my date, remember? <laughs> Don't be embarrassing me in front of people. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Anybody see me whip a little Kobe Jones on pit sniff for a minute ago? Yeah, Lamar, you, you were great. That boy is so cute. <laughs> you still want to take the dress back? There is no way I'm dancing with him looking like a pink scrunchie. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in my room? Your brother was whining about a dead body in a bag. I came in to show him that he was imagining things. And I found this under your bed. Ooh, there's gonna be a dead body now. <laughs> Something to go downstairs. But
what mommy? Now. You're D-E-D -E -D dead. <laughs> It's a very pretty dress, Diana. I thought pink wasn't your color. Uh, it's not pink, Mommy. It's fuchsia. Well, it's very expensive. Where did you get the money? I used the money for the entertainment. So you don't want music at your quinceanero? No, of course I do. I just figured Bobby could play I can't some. believe you would do something like this. Mommy, it's supposed to be my birthday party. And I end up with ducks instead of swans, a pineapple cake instead of chocolate, an old antique crown, and an old dress that makes me look like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> my quinceanero means I'm supposed to be a woman and make my own decisions. Yes, but a young woman doesn't lie and do sneaky things to get what she wants. <sighs> a woman? She speaks her mind to get away. But you and Titi Rosa kept talking about tradition and I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Well, you managed to do that anyway. Tomorrow is your day. And I want you to be happy. Taina, your mother keeps calling from the banquet hall. We should be there already. Come on. Okay, okay. Just, just give me a minute, okay? I'll be in the car. Hurry! I'll be right down! Hola! Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Taina Morales and her court! Come on! You have to admit, Rosa, she looks like a princess. All the girls in our family look like princesses. It's tradition. <laughs> Cousin's best friend's baby daddy's cousin. You look, it worked out. Gracias, mommy. of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios Florida.